morning guys welcome to today it is the crack of dawn we're up earlier than ever before no <laughs> just joking we it is early though it's dark out basically sam has gone to work today so we have to do chores we have to do chores and we have to go to the other barn and give chino his medicine and we may have to wrap his leg again today after that little run yesterday the infection is clearly going away which is what we wanted so i think to get rid of the little bit of extra edema in there he needs a little bit of exercise. Okay. Review. All right, review. You should get the puzzle ball. You should get the puzzle Even ball. It cuts you. It's very fun. Sophie and overdoes it with the puzzle ball. She never stops. Yeah, Dad had to give up on me. Yeah, so she basically, uh, it's like a Rubik's Cube, but way more tactile and way more fun. So yeah, because like, if you have everything, you just put your hand in here. Two, you just put your hand in here, push each ball over. Oops to a new spot and it feels good to push them over. So you push them over and then once it's all mixed up, you try and match the balls with Here, the colors. Just I can wait. do it, I just can wait. do it, I can do it. Let me show I'll them. Do it. All right. Wait, 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 I wanna show them that, see? I wanna show, I was gonna show them. Ugh. So there, that one. So that's how you match them. That blue goes in that blue ring. The green goes in the green ring. The it's pink, teal. orange, blue. Yeah, she has it always done. But yeah. Gabby, do you like the ball? Yeah. Yeah, Gabby actually likes a lot of her toys too. All right. Let's go down to the barn. It's a dark and dreary day on the day-by-day -day farm. Do you guys remember when I we first moved here and I took a video of what it looked like each morning when we went down to the barn? for like seven months and then it got old. All right, Molly Moo, let's go. Open the door. Got my hands full. Open the door. Molly, good job. <laughs> Just joking. Hi, girls. It is a mess in here. This is what happens in winter. Look at all these little cups. All right, Penny Pickle. Oh, I like all your poop. You had good poops. I noticed she's not drinking as much now because of the cold weather. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. She doesn't even give me a chance. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> she's the funniest girl. She just makes me laugh. Wait, let me put it where it has to go. Yummy. <laughs> so the thing about Penny is that she anticipates things and if it's gonna hurt or be cumbersome or be awful, she's like, let's just do it and get it over with. That's the kind of girl she is. It's all finished, my love. Yeah. Tries to kill the syringe. She wants to chew it and suck it and she well, must like that medicine. One thing equestrians do not like, what is that? Oh yeah, I forgot to put my bridle away. Close that no, door for me. How you put it? I know, it was emergency. I want to bring it up to the house because I need to I need to bring it up to How the house. How hard is it just to go like this? Oh, is that how? How's it? I'm getting a new one. So I'm definitely getting a new one by spring. You guys, I'm making a list. I need to put it someplace that I'm going to remember to take it with me. Hopefully I remember. Wait, where am I going to put it? All right. I don't like to lay it down. No, oh, no, no. I know. No, where am I? I can't. Where am I going to put it? In the barn. The only way I remember to take stuff up to the house is if I put it right outside the door. Rest in peace, bridal. Because for all you attack hall loving people, I'm compiling a list of all the things that I want for my horse. Like, well, notice you're gonna treat it like that. <laughs> I know. It should never touch the ground. It should never be. Yeah, that bridal. I don't know why. I'm sure we bought it new. Did we buy it brand new? Like we bought everything brand new because we yeah. didn't have anything. Because we bought it for Stella. Yeah, like the oldest stuff okay, we have okay, okay, okay. is three years. You are annoying me now. Nothing we have is so older than three years. Put things correctly. <laughs> really annoying. Anyways, good morning to you guys. We're in a hurry. We're going to get things done. Here is my bag of fly masks. And this one, I don't think it's going to fit. No, not that one. All right, so there's no way this is going to fit her. I'm sure it's a pony size, even though it's a bit big on Gracie. But I'd like to do the test. Remember I told you that my friend Susan told me to do the test? Let's do the test. So this is how you see through it in the light. This is how you can see through it in the dark. You can't see in a fly mask in dark. I do believe many horses can handle being blind in the dark. 
But from Penny's point of view, some horses get kicked in the eye, and yeah, Penny actually uh, she she had hay all over her stall, and she obviously didn't eat it all. She couldn't probably couldn't find it, and I know they can find it with their whiskers, but you know, it bothered her being blind at night. So yeah, I'm gonna. That's why you don't blind your horses at night. So I'm gonna invent something, you guys. I'm gonna invent something. I don't know what I'll invent, but I'm gonna invent something. Sam's really good at inventing things. You should things. try the blue one at night. Because she definitely needs, whoa, needs the fly mask. All right, there we go. One pony. Don't scream, two ponies. Wait, I'm gonna go down here. Get my third pony, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell her to walk slow. Third pony. Come on. <laughs> oh wait, was she done her food? Walk slow. Good girl. I put my hand up and then, she, oh wow, good girl she is. I love her. Come here, you want a treat? She's like, wait, I did not get my treat today. Come here. Come on. You have to come to me though, those are the rules. You want it? Yeah, you do. I want to ride today. I don't know if I'll have time. It's supposed to be nice all week though. Good girl. And your eyes be looking great. So her eyes are looking good. The heck? So I think the shavings that I actually ended up getting were way more smaller particle. So they got in her eye way worse. So she doesn't have an allergy to any shavings. It's just the fact that things get in her eyes. But today they look fabulous. You look fabulous, Penny Pickle. I know, you don't want me to play with you. You just want to have my treats. You want to just steal from me. Okay, yes, you want a treat too? I will give you a treat. Hurry up. Uh-oh, can't get it out of my pocket. Okay, here you go. There you go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nothing cuter than a pony running. You gotta hurry. Uh-oh. Too late, Willow. Too late, because the pony's coming. Uh-oh, wait, she's gonna let you. Uh-oh, she's not gonna let you. Here, I, 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 let her have a treat. Okay, now I'm getting out of here. Because I do not believe in being between horses when they, come on, Ruby, Ruby, come on, quick. <laughs> not you, not you, but just soon. Maybe starting today we'll be doing more fun things with you. Just wait, you're gonna have to show everybody what a smart pony you are. So the course I'm, that we're taking the last part of the course is trick training, you guys. Trick training, like crazy trick training, not just like teaching your horse to kiss. It is a lot of good stuff. I, I taught Willow how to kiss and she's pretty good. Yeah, and Penny kind of can kiss. I brought a lot of our stuff home that we used for Chino last night, and now I'm gonna take it back because we left his dressing off and Fiona thinks that we should have left the bottom dressings on, but I don't know, we're gonna see how he is. Drop my phone. <laughs> It's okay, this is where we have protein. It seems to be okay. It's okay, Stella, you're okay. I actually wanted to put the Caratex on Chino yesterday, but I forgot, so I have to get it on him today because the farrier is coming tomorrow. Chino actually does have hard hooves. The vet said that his hooves were really hard, nice and hard, perfectly hard. It's that he has flat feet. That is the issue with Chino. But um, I don't think he looked that bad in the front. So the vet did do some stuff. He said he pulled the nail out on the one side and then he picked around on the other side and we've been soaking them, which is more why it's more important for me to put the Caratex on because uh, soaking will like make your horse have softer hooves, obviously. So. Who's gonna clean the windows? <laughs> you will, I'm here. Um, so we're gonna do that today, and also, now that she knows how to antibiotics, you guys know, for people, what antibiotics are like on, on your, what they do to your system. I believe that they do the same kind of thing on horses, and so we always give like a, um, a probiotic, and I need to get probiotics for Penny too, because she has a bit of runny poo, and that's an indication to me that she needs uh, uh, probiotics. And I've been meaning to do it all along, but I've been experimenting with so many different things for her, I don't want to overload her system, even though probiotics are probably the most important. But anyways, um, so now that he's on the antibiotics, I'm gonna get him some, once he's done the antibiotics, I'm gonna give him some probiotics. We're still waiting for Gabby. Do, 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 this is what we do. Hey, Chino. But boy, let's see. Let's see if he has got 
Oh, looks like it's a bit swollen, but the upper part is better. Oh, I think it's, I think it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. we got to take them for a little walk, too. All right, it's still swollen a little. Yeah. More swollen without the wrap, but is the top less swollen? Yeah. So basically, gravity pulled all the stuff, all the fluid from the top so down. The Do you want to wrap it? More yeah. All yeah. All right, so let's give him his medicine. Take him for a little walk, and then we'll do a quick wrap, okay? And you gotta paint his feet. After today, we only have two more days, I think, of twice a day antibiotics. So annoying, like, coming to the barn twice a day. So don't put it on his blanket. So, okay, he's leaving. <laughs> he is, is not happy to be in that stall. Oh yeah, he's a little more swollen today. soaked his feet for a bunch of days to see if he had an abscess to try and bring out any abscess it, like I'm worried that his feet would be a bit soft again and especially now if he's like worked through what was happening with his feet I don't want to put him outside on the hard ground so we're gonna try and so we're gonna try and harden them again and wait for him to get his shoes if he gets shoes he might not need shoes we're hoping to keep him without shoes he came without shoes he was great without shoes until until we decided to put them on and there's just Hopefully we can keep no shoes. We're gonna find out what the farrier says tomorrow. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside. And I kinda of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. Horses, it's so easy to want to rush. I forgot my mitts in the car and it's cold and I have so many more things we have to do today, but I always have to think about how this is all he has. Like we have so many more things to do today, but he's in a stall for the rest of the day. So I don't want to rush him. I want to take time and let him just walk and feel loved and feel like a horse again and not feel isolated because isolation is like one of the worst feelings ever. All right, dude, we are gonna paint. We undid his blanket a little bit because I think there's a bit of a rub there. Gabby got medicine all over his blanket. He's coming out of this medicine thing bad. Like, look at his face. You guys see? He's got medicine on his face. We're going to have to clean you. Have to clean you before you go back out with your friends. You would just take the medicine. I can hear the raindrops It's cold outside. And I kind of feel like cold. But it's too Okay, so 
were home and we had to go in and get changed. Do you guys do that if you're at the barn? I don't. Yeah, Sophie doesn't. But I changed my boots and I changed my coat and usually I wash my hands. I did not wash my hands. I should have. They don't smell. Or maybe I'm just blind to it. But I was checking Chino's sheath. Like I just was touching it because when he rolled yesterday when I was watching him roll, I was like, in the video, I was like, mm, that looks really swollen to me. So when I was there today, I was touching it and it actually was swollen. So I don't know if it's because the swelling from his leg went all the way up into his groin, which is what I guess. But also there's a lady there, an older woman who's been there done that, and I asked her about it and she said, yeah, it definitely feels swollen. And then she said that lots of times horses, sheaths will swell if they're just standing around in a stall. All uh, right, are we ready? What? I would suggest getting a marble one Ooh, mesh. Gavin, you smell good. I'd recommend getting a marble mesh and a pea popper. So I, I don't know if you guys know, but Gabby's a one-upper. She always got a one-up me. I changed my coat and I changed my boots, but she puts on perfume. <laughs> and changes my shirt. And changes her shirt, gets rid of her coat to be looking cute. All right, because we're gonna go and pick up some grain. You gotta be looking cute for grain. So now we're waiting for Gabby again because she forgot her purse. And I hate when she opens the door, leaves it open, and we're freezing in the car. <laughs> what? So I would recommend an infinity cube, which is very nice. So Sophie recommends okay. an infinity cube and a marble thing. Mesh, a pea popper, and a bike chain. Okay, so she likes them all, you guys. She can't... I don't like the pea popper. I don't like the pea popper either. Does anybody like a pea popper? Oh, let's see, you got it's your ring? It's smaller than this one. You actually lost your ring? Yeah, it's somewhere in the bathroom. I don't know where Oh, ring yeah, is. and same as her AirPods. You lost one AirPod, and then we no, put it... No, it's in the case. Yeah, she lost the case with the one AirPod because we put it someplace safe in case we found the other one. We found the other one. And I now, handed it to you. you I know. Hand, I put, you it, put it somewhere. I know. Okay, so I got the grain. So I can't I, video. I Everything's it. changed since the last time we came. So everything is like curbside pickup. And I forgot that I didn't know how, like, every business does a different. So I had to, like, sit out here and phone them and say, hey, can I buy some grain? But also, I, I bought this. And I'm excited about it. I like buying pink stuff because uh, Penny's color is pink. And you can never have enough of these. These are the ones that I like. I like being able to hard brush all around her. Huh. So let's go to the grocery store. What is it? Um, dried banana. Oh, I love dried bananas. So Sophie, you're not getting any junk. for your hair, so I'm trying it. What is it? Coconut milk. Anti-breakage serum. Oh, super yeah. cool. Gabby's freezing because it's the middle of winter and she came into the grocery hey, store. This is technically fruit. No, it's not happening. It's cold. Like they yeah. make it cold. We're in the freezer section. What do you guys think we should have for supper? It's either ground beef or pork chops. Sam bought these the other day. I'm getting pieces. I'm getting some. And okay. bursting with flavor, there are these pretzel things. Oh my god, they were the best thing I ever tried in my life. Yeah. Those are honey, mustard, and onion, and these are cheddar cheese, and those are salt. Sylvie, they have salted caramel. Ben ate the bit, so I bought him fruit roll-ups, and we're gonna put this on his bit, so he likes the bit more. It was a bit hack by Gabby. I am starving, did not eat anything today, so for breakfast, lunch, it is quarter to 12 and I'm having my first meal of the day and it is avocado toast. It's my favorite, you guys. It's time to fold the laundry. Look at my laundry moves. <laughs> so you, you may think it's funny that the Dalmatian climbs every day and bur burrows in my nice clean laundry. She sits at the basement door. She sits at the basement door waiting for me to bring the laundry basket upstairs. Then she jumps right in it. But then, if you look on this side of Gabby's sweater, you find the other dog. These are my heat lovers. Nice warm laundry to keep them warm on a cold winter's day. <laughs> this dog, he, she cracks me up so much. <laughs> she burrows right in. <laughs> you're adorable. Yeah, you're adorable. Let her go. <laughs> She's fine. She needs to run. She's not fine. 
But she falls in the well. She will not fall in the well. Please, please, puppy, do not fall in the Bye, well. Baby. Oh, of course, they're headed right over to the well. Uh oh, she's going to the well. Don't talk about it and it won't happen. Oh, that's what I don't like about that dog. She doesn't understand the horses are scary. <laughs> oh my God. Penny just stopped eating and everything to go over there. It freaks me out. I've seen her kick out at a dog before. Remember when I got Molly for the first time? Yeah. And she just still didn't know her name, but she just followed me down to the barn and I didn't have to yeah. chase after her. Are you trying to say Daisy was per or Molly was perfect from the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Sophie says she's getting a border collie for her next dog. <laughs> oh no, she's going back in! That is dangerous! No, don't let her get kicked. She's really tiny. I'm proud of you, Penny. No, oh my goodness. Penny, just ignore her. Ooh, I don't like that. And I don't like that there's a leash on the dog. Like yesterday when I brought her down, she <laughs> there's Sophie. <laughs> Sophie is getting mad at her and telling her not to do that ever again. She doesn't know, like Dalmatians like horses. Molly had a healthy fear. <laughs> okay, so we decided to take the, po the puppies for a walk because I told Get Sophie yesterday her puppy has to run and have some fun. Just some like a little tiny bit of like, a puppy that age should be able to run and play for 15 minutes each day of exercise. So I decided to bring Penny along with me. Sophie's terrified. Because you <laughs> oh my gosh, chill See, out. It's running Look right it. to the entrance. Molly! Come on, Ma! That's all you have to do. Oh, I know. I don't think... I don't think Penny loves dogs, to be honest. I know her old owner had dogs. Come on, let's go. Okay, we made it to the top of the hill, and now she's like, hmm, let's just eat grass, Laura. Come on, let's do it. Our course starts. Look at how cute. Our course starts on Wednesday, you guys. I'm excited to share it with you guys. Look how cute. Sophie's over there crying her eyes out. She has no faith in us. We can turn back. Look at her. She's just loving life. Luck <laughs> Luckily for us. Luckily for us, she's a good sleeper and she doesn't really have that much energy. She's not a high energy dog. I'm glad Penny likes to come out and explore. You step on the leash when the leash, hey, listen. Yesterday I had a, pony, a puppy pulling me. Cannot be having a horse pulling me. Uh-oh. She's like, I'm gonna run. Do not run, because I cannot hold onto a camera and a leash. Do not run, Penny Pickle. She's really interested in that puppy. Uh oh, she just snorted. Okay, I'm putting you guys away because uh, now we're lunging. <laughs> She's snorting. Just wait, I'm gonna take her for a little walk. Freaking out, and then as soon as the ponies started freaking out, Penny tried to do a little tiny baby buck, 
and the, the ground was too soft. The snow was too soft. <laughs> Over on her side. Yeah, like that was not a good idea. I, I think we need to do it more. It's hard. She did okay. Other than rearing and bucking and lunging herself. Apparently Penny can lunge. Stop, you crazy ponies. I'm just standing there walking along and all of a sudden she gets freaked out. Well, she wasn't even freaked out. She was excited. I think you closed your eyes. <laughs> I close my eyes always. <laughs> She's on the ground. <laughs> but Penny's was more slow motion. She <laughs> oh and Willow was gal. She tried to do a little buck. And then she can't because she bucks really light. Willow was galloping, cantering, whatever. So she And she, then she just went out of her. So back she legs so I was walking and all of a sudden she picks her back legs up completely phew, like that on her side. It was brutal. It was brutal, you guys. <laughs> It was not funny. I'll just teach her not to do it again. Oh man. Don't you know that you're beautiful?